Well, a spokesperson for the Department for Health told us carers are covered by recent rises in the national living wage and said the government is taking a number of steps to give the caring profession the recognition it rightly deserves. Now, at 23 minutes past seven, photography is often seen as a visual medium only, but a new exhibition in London is using techniques which mean its pictures can be enjoyed by blind and partially sighted visitors. Called World Unseen, it uses braille and audio descriptions on its artwork and shows how the world is seen by the visually impaired, as Leila Hayes reports. This is how most of us would see this striking photo. But this is how it could appear to someone with a visual impairment. This exhibition in Somerset House means those with sight loss can experience photography in a whole new way. Just the little detail of the ears, you know, it's just, it's amazing. The images have been printed in 3D, so they can also be touched. It's only raised a maximum of two millimeters off the surface, but yet I can feel the skin of the rhinoceros. I can feel the wound where they cut off the horn. I can feel its mouth and, and, the, and it's eating the grass. All this detail, it's just like, wow. Each photo in the exhibition is also accompanied by a full description in Braille for those who can't see. Campaigners say it's about making art accessible to all. We want experiences that we can all share and we can all benefit from, and that's what inclusion is about, offering everyone a, a kind of an equitable experience, not just, you know, let's put on something for blind people. Actually, what we really want is let's try and find a way to deliver exhibitions that mean that everybody can get something out of it. The new technology has enabled visually impaired mum Karen to see a scan of her baby Ruby for the first time. It was amazing, like, to have the experience that every other mum that has a scan in the UK is getting to see their baby scan. I got to see mine, like, I could feel her nose, her eyes, what she was going to look like. And when I first had her, the first thing I did was feel her nose and was like, yeah, her nose feels like the scan picture does. One of the photos was taken by blind photographer Ian Traherne. Yeah, it makes it much more inclusive because a lot of blind people don't really feel like they, they can get involved, you know, going to exhibitions. So this is, uh, yeah, this is amazing. Whether you're blind, visually impaired or fully sighted, this exhibition is bringing photography to all. That report from Leila Hayes.